As AOC continues gaslighting her way out of applying pressure to um, Nancy Pelosi's speakership in exchange for um, a floor vote on Medicare for all, um, she loses one of her committee seats. <laughs> so, um, and one of the tweets to Justin Jackson, as she, you know, she replied, she talked about elevating progressives to, um, you know, leadership roles within the Democratic Party and everything. So, you know, I find it funny that she could have applied pressure to Nancy Pelosi to get this seat, which she didn't. And I find it funny that, you know, I, I just literally, when I heard the story, when I heard about the story and I read this story, I couldn't help but laugh my fucking ass off because this is literally like, if you would have applied pressure for this position, you would have gotten it. But what makes it sweeter is that the, her opponent for the seat she was racing for, um, is for the energy and commerce, um, panel, uh, panel, a uh, seat in that panel. Um, Kathleen Rice actually did that. <laughs> Catherine Rice leveraged Nancy Pelosi's speakership to get this um this um seat. Now Nancy Pelosi snubbed her in the past, as it said, you know, it mentioned in this article that Pelosi snubbed her in the past because um she wanted to be on the judiciary committee, which Nancy Pelosi said, yeah, nah. And I think it was because in the past she didn't vote for her before. So <laughs> she didn't vote for her as speaker before. So Pelosi got back at her with that um for that. But um you know, I just find it funny that AOC talks about, you know, this is the type of things. This is why we can't, you know, be assholes to Nancy Pelosi because we want to get put in um, leadership roles and everything where it's like, OK, but you're like you're getting removed from these leadership roles. And then on top of that, the exact like how we're telling you to, we're applying pressure to you, AOC, by um, getting by, you know, the hashtag force the vote movement. Um, I find it funny that. Your ideology is losing, but our ideology is winning. And it's not about, and again, it's not about our specific ideology. It's not about proving me right. It's not about proving Jimmy Dore right. It's about getting Medicare for all. And it's like the path, the, like the path we're suggesting is the viable path, is the um, path we need to be going. And it's like people don't want to do that because they're fucking career climbers and they're fucking simping up to people like AOC. They want to continue being able to interview AOC, but she doesn't go on their fucking shows anyway. And they want to continue being the, you know, the mouthpiece for the progressive Democrats, where it's like there's no such thing as progressives in a Democratic Party. I don't care what anybody tells you. There's no such thing. And the fact that, you know, it's like it's like still believing it's like still believing in the fucking in the um, fucking fucking Santa Claus. Like. It's not it's not there. It's not going to happen. And, um, you know, that's what it is. And it's like, you know, just in closing. Um, this is, again, AOC of the past, like telling us to do what we're doing now. And check these videos out. I'll put together like a little compilation. So, again, AOC is full of shit. She's a bull, you know, bullshitter. She's a gaslighter. And don't listen to her. And I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be doing a couple of videos. And look, I'm not. Like I said, on this channel, I'm not trying to get into the fray of coming at other media personalities, but Jenk Uger brought it on himself. I'm going to be doing a video on Jenk Uger that's probably dropping either tomorrow or Wednesday. So definitely look out for that. And um, yeah, I'm just going to continue dropping videos on this hashtag force to vote movement because this is important. This is what we need right now. After seeing that, after seeing that general strike in India that was over, you know, 250 million people, like. That's insane. And like, you know, the protest in France and the riots in France over their um, uh, laws for um, their laws, basically banning the recording of police, even when they're doing, you know, fucked up shit to their citizens. Like France said, fuck no. So America needs to stand up and say, fuck no. America, you know, that, and that's just what needs to happen. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out there. Hit the thumbs up button. Uh, comment so I, I can hear what you guys think. Again, you guys have been doing very good at commenting. I have been very bad at commenting back. I've been very busy. Just started a new, a new job, actually, and I'm blessed and thankful to have a job right now. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to get everything, you know, get accustomed to that schedule and everything. So uh, January 20th, I am still planning to be out in D.C. as of right now, planning to be out in D.C. doing interviews. And I'm some mild protesting, but mostly interviews because I want to talk to you guys out there. And um, my guy, Matt Nelson, is going to be out there with me. So look out, you know, be on the lookout for us there. And um, yeah, I have some more announcements coming that's in the works, some things that is in the works. But I will talk to you guys about it when it happens. So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And, you know, like I said, hit that like button, um, hit that thumbs up button, comment. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close it out.